Good morning all, I am Nick from Jack Rabbit's Barbers. Today I've got Chris in the chair with me. Morning Chris. Good morning. With Chris, we're going to be tidying up a lot of this top. He's got too much length here. So we're going to be reducing some of this, making sure we keep more of a feature area in the front, which we're going to sort of style up. Uh, all hand cut through the top. And then on the back and sides, we're going to do some clipper work. Grade two, into a one, into a 0.5. Just trying to change this angle more into a this angle. We're going to fade out on the back of the neck, and then we're going to do some beard work. Chris has got quite a short beard. So it's going to be more about just tidying up, blending, and removing some of the bulk in the neckline and around through the sides here. I'll talk you through it as I do it. OK, brilliant. What we'll do, and we're going to sweep this around with no parting, just sweep the whole thing, and then lift and feature, yeah? Taking off about that much. Brilliant. Okay, what we're going to do with this top section, to reduce it, I'm just going to take a profile line down through the centre. Keep cutting on a pretty sort of even kill here, making sure that that front's a little bit longer, and then as it comes up, we're going to reduce the length, follow it through. As I come out the back end on the crown, it's also going to get a little bit longer, keeping a bit of weight in the crown, which I'll uh, assess a little later on. Once I've done that profile line, I'm going to take cross sections through, looking for that gap where I've cut and we're just going to follow through there, taking out that whole top section. And just point cutting through, because we've got, Chris has got really, really straight hair. And just by point cutting, I'm leaving a few different lengths in the hair, just to give it that feeling it's grown out a little, and to add a little more texture. Just keeps the cut a little looser. Keeping the hair nice and wet, Wet hair's great, wet hair sticks to hair, sticks to the comb, sticks to your fingers. Great for tension for... New guys cutting. You can see there, nice low point, that's my guide in here. And we're gonna take that all the way to the front. Okay, now what we're doing is we're moving on to the sides here. So we've cut a nice level through the top, and now we're just going to take those corners off on the side, ready for that lower edge when we do our clipper work. Still point cutting, keeping it loose. A lot of the times when you do a haircut like this, you've just got to be careful, uh, depending on which direction it's coming. So if we're going over this way, we want to make sure there's not too much hair gathering here. So keep this a little shorter and cleaner. And then normally we disconnect this side, leave it a little longer to make sure that we've got a wave on that feature. But we'll do that as we're going through and as we're cutting. Okay, coming through this side here, I've made sure that we worked on an angle coming through to here to just in front of the ear. And then instead of cutting on that angle just on this front piece, I've elevated up just to make sure there's more length coming up so we can make more of a feature of that in a moment. Because we've been pulling everything from behind the head back, we lose tension in this front piece. So it's just good to come around the front, just reassess and make sure your lengths are good. Just get lots of little strays, just things that make it look a little untidy. Okay, what we're gonna do now, now that we worked wet on the top, we're gonna dry the hair, get the shape so that we can assess what we've got, work into what we've got and do our clipper work. Okay, we're working on a medium to high heat and a medium speed making sure that the airflow is going in the same direction that the style is. If you get crowns that jump up, just use your comb to crown, the, to just comb the crown down, place your comb on it and dry through it. Just helps hold that crown down while you're cutting. Always go in the direction that you're styling. It's nice to dry the style in as you're working so you can see where it's heavy, where it collapses, and what attention you need to put into the haircut. 
just our little clipper work right now. Grade two, just a canvas, take most of it out. We're gonna keep everything from sort of just the pinnacle area around down, just working through that area. And then we're gonna get shorter and shorter as we go down. Some barbers like to line out if they know they're gonna go really short. I tend to sort of work from my longest length down to my shortest. Making sure you hit the hair in a few directions, not just straight up all the time. We're coming in at a few angles, just making sure you're picking up all of those hairs that are trying to escape you. And straight away, can you see that's become more vertical? Yeah, yeah. So instead of there, we're just pulling those sides in. So On sometimes when you've got someone with dead straight hair, the hair kind of grows straight out from the head. It can give the head shape this sort of tendency to pull out here and come in at this angle. By taking this nice and low, you're pushing that line in and letting this line come back out. Gives a much more sort of vertical look to the hair. And in my mind, a little bit more architectural and a little bit more masculine. It's just stronger, stronger shape. Okay. Grade two, to blend it into the top, I use a jumbo comb. Jumbo comb's about six mil, so it's already about a grade two on the base. But you've got a nice big flat planal area that I can start on a grade two and then angle it out to get the desired length that I've already cut on top. So it's just a really nice way to transition your grades. All right, I'm just going to drop, drop down to a grade one and grab a dust brush to keep it clean. You said you normally go down to about a one, don't you? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Chris has just got really nice straight hair for clipper work. So we're just gonna step in with our one, pop our line through, and then take it out with a one and a half. Open it up to a half. Or an open blade. And then take that out. So when doing this work, obviously we're working down, like most haircuts, from sort of a, a longer length to a shorter length, slowly working our way down. Although we do this on all haircuts, my objective is actually looking at his hair from the front and making sure that I'm getting that more vertical line. And that's what I want to achieve from this. So every now and again, I'm just gonna check and make sure that the horizon line is leveling up and looking good. Okay, because I used a grade one, I'm now gonna use my Andis, which is three mil, which is about a grade one. Again, larger surface to work on. So I like using clipper guards because they're quick but I like using combs because I feel they're more accurate. The teeth are closer together, picking up more hair, creating more tension, picking up all those little loose hairs that the guards can miss out on. It's just a way of polishing your haircuts and just making them a little bit tidier. Okay, we're now going, so we've done our two into our one, and we're now just going into our half. This is just gonna be in this lower area, just to finish off, keep it clean around the ear, and then we're gonna fade that neck out to nothing, probably finish with a little bit of razor work. 
just the edges to keep it tidy. Knock it back that little bit more. Excellent. Just keeps it tidy. Short haircut, not a skin fade. Every time you go in with a shorter guard or grade, it's going to create a little step. So you're forever chasing your haircut, trying to blend those little steps out. Okay, so we've done top scissor cut, back and sides clipper work. Now we've got to deal with our transition areas around here between the two. So we're going to work into these, add some texture to the top, and just tidy up some of the areas like over here where we've got this sweet parting and over this side where it's looking a little long. So we're just going to work on these areas a little bit. Just a little bit of light scissor over comb. Still keeping some lengths in here. Just kind of sculpting that transition free hands. Looks better. Same again this side. Everything's converging at this point. It's a little heavy and it drops. That's also the way that the hair is just growing round and down here. So we're just going to remove that problem just to lighten it and soften it. Don't want to completely remove it. Just want to soften it so that when this comes back in, and then we'll just remove some of this corner. Point cutting down and deep into the hair to remove weight and create lots of texture. It's better. Okay, and now through the top, same again. Just deep, straight down vertically into the hair, just to remove some of this hair and create as much texture and lightness as we can. Just kind of give the hair that torn, shattered feel, so that when we pop a bit of product in it, we've got lots of different lengths and interesting forms and shapes going on up there. Kind of want to be able to cut the style into the hair rather than have your client spend a lot of time styling his hair. If you can cut the hair right so it sits naturally to the head, but you've got a bit of length, he's not going to spend too much time styling it, which is exactly what a busy guy wants. Cut the styling. Don't rely on a product. That doesn't mean that you don't need a product. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, and I'm just looking for the overall shape of the head now. Seeing if there's anything that's sticking up or anything I'm not sure about. Length's looking good. Overall shape's looking good. Balance is nice. Brilliant. Okay, just using the T-liner, bringing everything forward of the hairline, just to clean up any loose or stray hairs. Just gonna use that here and around the ear, and even in the ear. Barely need it though, Chris, barely need it. <laughs> Now, if we were skin fading this, we'd probably use a razor just to really get a nice, clean shape up. And the ticket is, is you're going to the hairline, not into the hairline. The last thing you want to do is work into someone's hairline and have a lovely line of stubble growing back the next two, three days after. Brilliant. OK, I'm going to come back to style that in a minute. I'm now going to move on to the beard. So when the beard's quite short like this, some people like to roll over it with clippers, you know, clipper guards or something. I like to do everything freehand. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna work with combs and clippers and with scissors. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just 
start trimming up the bits that don't normally get trimmed up around the edges. And I'm also going to determine at what point this beard's going to come to, probably somewhere around there. When it comes to shorter beards like what Chris has got, what it really is is more of sort of an outgrown designer stubble. So what we want to do is keep the bulk of the beard here, but make sure that the edges all gently fade out, look nice and clean. And then we're going to go back in with a razor to clean up his cheek area, the top of the tash, the top of the lip line, the sides here, as they grow around the ear, we want to pull these back and determine where his neckline is going to be. The whole idea of this is to make sure this beard looks quite strong, architectural and really masculine. So it's going to be a lot of straight lines and try and avoid any curves. So the idea here is to come in under here and create a line. Now we can freehand it or you can use a comb just to get that line in. Try and keep it tighter to here, still a little bit loose. And then as we come down here, we want to be somewhere around about here. We don't want to be right up under the jaw. We want, if we can, just be just past here and just above the Adam's apple. So we're going to be looking at about there. Just using the comb as a ruler, you can freehand it. And the same the other side. Try and make sure your client's head's nice and still, nice and straight. And not leaning too far in either direction. Once you've roughed it out, use your mirror to see what adjustments you need to make. Yeah, they just changed it to a new one now. And then we're just gonna six foot seven. Just lose that deep hardness of that line. Only a little though, won't it? Not too much, just a little. Okay, so we've got a shave gel on, warm towel, and we're just going to come in and just gather to our line. Gather to our line. Always just holding a little bit of tension. Instead of dragging down with the razor, sometimes it's easy to pop the razor on and pull the cheek to you. Just makes it a little easier. Pop your razor on and pull that cheek to you. Not much is coming off here. Just stretch that top lip for me. Lovely, you're a natural. And relax. That's good. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah. Just keep the skin nice and tight. 
You won't have any problems with your blades. And if you feel your blade pulling, don't be afraid to change your blades a few times. I'm just gonna pop some beard oil on you. So it's gonna warm the beard oil up in my hands. And then I'm gonna just let my clients smell that, breathe in. Do you like that? Mm -hmm. It's fantastic. And then we're gonna work that into the beard. First on the surface, and then we're gonna penetrate into the beard, down to the skin. Making sure the beard gets the oils to help soften it, giving it great shine. The skin gets the lovely aroma and the hydration of the oils. Also, if we've just done some razor work, it's gonna act as a natural moisturizer just looking after the skin. Pop it in the tash, down in the beard. And then if it's got a nice aroma and your client likes it, bring it up into the neck. Finish it off there. We're just gonna finish the beard just with a little brush to make sure that all the hairs are going in the same direction. Nothing sticking up, nothing sticking out. And the whole thing looks tidy. Okay, so just a small amount of products. Nothing too crazy. Pop it on the palm of your hand. We're gonna rub that in so that we can just about see it, make sure our hands feel sticky, the product's there, but there's no lumps and clumps. And because we've already dried the hair in the direction we want, we're just gonna start off by placing the product on the hair. And then we're gonna lift our feature in. And then kind of pat it into shape. Whatever's left on your fingers, don't forget the eyebrows. Their hair, they need love too. <laughs> Lovely stuff. I'd like to finish with a little hairspray. Just to know that that's all gonna stay in place and not move. Depends on what product you're using. You're normally pretty safe with the clays. Happy? Yeah. Thanks for watching this video. Beard Brand has launched a private community called The Alliance. It's for men who are looking to invest in themselves and who are looking to keep on growing. Click the link over there and come join us or stick around and watch some more awesome videos.